Hello and welcome back to Trigger Happy Havoc. And after that... Huh? As if from a vast distance I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. That sound... It's coming from... from the gym? As I desperately hauled my shaky frame towards the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here? In the gym? On we go. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. These two are actually fighting? Before me, I raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. No. One side's not human, that's for sure, but... Regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move, even to breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? Uh, is Sakura some sort of cyborg enhanced... Here, you defy me. I mean, given the glowing eye, it does look a bit suspicious. This wasn't part of the deal! The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Huh. Hmm. Okay. But... You do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? She'll die? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <coughs> what the hell's going on there? What am I looking at? What am I hearing? A, a hostage? Could it be... The Mastermind Spy is... The next generation legend stand tall galactic hero. So we're down to what? Seven people? Hmm. We've received the Super Robo Justice present. Uh, yeah, we might as well. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. And Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And he got executed. Fumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Fumi. And then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. <sighs> only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. <clears throat> That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is. Mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. Okay. In that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean, in that case? Because, I mean... Well, look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you fill your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up, so let's eat. Okay. Let's fry some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? What? That's like a deep impact style, meteor impact, extinction level combination of foods. Huh? Well, those are both breakfast time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right. Since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. 
Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead. Think about the future. You got it! Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deathly thoughts. You know? Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? For serious! And this is all over? I think I want to get reborn for serious. Ah, uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Well... Hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who's about to die would say. Mm. Oh, I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there ain't gonna be any more murders. Um... What makes you so sure? According to the spirit... I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. Okay, you are so gonna be the next murder victim after you've said that. I mean, that's just... That's just holding up a sign saying, uh, you know, universe, please kill me ironically. However... How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day. Mm. That seems really low. It's not like some occult mystery. Yeah, it's not like CSP or whatever. Of course I'm only going to get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap! I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. So, um... Fortune telling isn't a cult? Well, he could be using stochastic programming. Hell, he could be using psychohistory. Except psychohistory doesn't work on the small scale. You got it all wrong! Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutation. Huh? Cattle what? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually... N no. You're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to get a hamburger. It was in a place I'd never been before, and they claimed that their patties were all 100% beef. So I got a burger to go and head home. But... And before long... The end is nigh! The sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger! Yeah, I've got nothing in response to that, dude. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in mid-air! You sure it wasn't a pot burger? I mean, I have no idea if you can make pot burgers, but I'm sure somebody's tried. And then... Still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart! One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand! Mm-hmm. Do you realize what that means? It means... The burger wasn't 100% beef! It must have had some pork or something mixed in! Okay... Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. As long as it wasn't horse meat. Actually, to be fair, I was at a barbecue a little while ago and somebody did actually turn up on purpose with some horse meat burgers. I know some strange people. You can't trick me! So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? How, now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. <sighs> I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean! I stink of... How dare you! <sighs> well, you do stink though. <clears throat> well, that's fine. <gasps> that's fine? Anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah! Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. And after so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But... Well... To be honest, I wish Byakua and Toko were here for this too. But... But they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being. But within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Chapter 4. All-Star Apologies. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Well, unless that one on this floor has opened, which I doubt somehow. Yep, that's still sealed. 
which means it's almost certainly. Got about four staircases to climb. Can I pop in here yet? Or not? Yes, I can, lovely. Might as well make use of uh, the thing to get some things. Never know when things are going to be handy. Get a reasonable quantity of coins. Might as well get unique items, just you know, for the hell of it. That appears to be a flower of some description. Is that pet food or something like that? That's bizarre. It would be nice if it actually told you what you got when you got it. Rather just saying you've got an item. Ooh, and a second item. Looks like an old radio. Well, technically the repeat chance is low enough, I probably don't actually need to get it all the way down to zero every time, but... I mean, there comes a point when you can have more gifts than you actually need. The hell was that? That looked a bit weird to me. Alright, that's all I've got the coins for at the moment. I should probably get going. So, what did I pick up there? Yeah, we've already given away the coffee. Royal curry. Curry made for kids. It's made with expensive, high quality ingredients. You wouldn't expect from kids' food. So a can of vacuum sealed food stuff. Taste isn't bad, and certain snacks that enjoy hide and go seek. It's crazy if I had it. Yeah, we've seen that. Zol's Diamond, a brand named Diamond, popularity using engagement rings, although it's just an imitation. Yeah, we've seen those. A hand bra, a bra designed to slip over your hands. Its slogan, raise your hands, raise your spirits. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Uh, unending dandelion. Dandelion toy. You can blow the fluff away and the attached string will pull it back so you can do it over and over and that's weird. Radio with retro exterior to save the art technology inside because there's no reception in the school, so you can't hear anything anyway. So found anybody who's not Ancient tour tickets. Two tickets that advertise a whirlwind tour of Mew with the ancient in four days and three nights. Fair enough. Cat Dog Magazine. You might think it has to do with pets, but it's more related to beds. It's a guide for junior high and high school students to help with their physical health. You mean it's the birds and the bees? Done with cats and dogs, really? That's just like 20 doggy style jokes waiting to happen. So why the hell did... He, oh, it, of all the things he could have made, he made Robo Justice. That's just... Weird. And again, everybody in this school is a bit peculiar in their own way. Uh, it was the boys' bathroom on the second floor, wasn't it, where the secret compartment was? Nope, I'm about to shot it. Or the third floor is up this way. be open. So now we've accessed the fourth floor of Hope Speak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. What's the layout like? Okay, we'll have a music room. Uh, 
Quantum chemistry is very sound interesting. Well, it looks like it could be a chemistry lab. Let's start with the music room, shall we? This is the music room. Hardly even a classroom, it's more like an actual concert hall. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think. So. About the secret in the boys' bathroom. Ah. I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Came from behind. I didn't have any time to react. I didn't see who it was. When I came to, the mounts of files and documents. They were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those That's were. That's fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I half suspected... And I half suspected the Mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. He must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted you to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room. I must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could have revealed the Mastermind's identity. So you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What do you think a boy is? Fine, I, I understand. Now let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave. Just a second. We... we shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camp. So... I'm looking into it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then... So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hmm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? That's... What's going on? What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends. You should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? Look, you're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but... There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you have no evidence for it. What I would want to do is tell her, but tell her somewhere away from the security cameras. So, yeah, in the changing room, for example. But I think I'm going to tell her. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet, but if I talked about it now, it could make things much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Oh, seriously? It's a false flag choice? Oh, you'll get... Yeah, I'm docking more points for that. Again, I don't actually give points, so it's irrelevant. Sorry. I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer. However... But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I was willing. The game wouldn't let me. I'm sorry. I really am. That's fine. Goodbye. Oh, boy. She's pissed. And with those are parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. This is a, a grand piano. Seems really old, but it's worth a lot of money. Of course, I've got someone around to play, it's totally useless. Please, anyone can play the piano. And I don't mean to... Yeah, I'm not knocking pianists. There's... A, that's the thing. The piano is one of those instruments that it's possible for pretty much anyone to sit down in front of and make at least a moderately pleasant sound. Whereas, you know, yeah, don't get me wrong, to play it well and properly does require years of skill, practice, training, and a lot of talent. But, uh, you know, if you compare it to the violin, for example, which, yes, is my go-to example because I can play the violin, you know, the first couple of years, you're going to be making pretty unpleasant noise until you really sort of nail it down. Unless you're some sort of insane virtuoso. No good. The door's locked. Guess what I'm getting in there. 
Call the nameplate is called the Data Center. What's behind the door? Well, that's a total mystery. Couple of generic classrooms. There's a lot of classrooms in this school. Given the relatively yeah. small dormitory, I mean. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's like a ton of locked rooms up here. So we've got seven people left, and I know there's six chapters in this game, so we're on chapter four. So we lose two more in this chapter, two more in the next, and then in the last chapter we're down to just three people. Oh, great. How big is this bloody school? Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do any permanent damage. Oh, Hina. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. <sighs> I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Hey, Makoto. Huh? You need something? No, n no, it's not. Huh? You sure? Okay then. Sayakura is lost in conversation with Hina. I need to find out what's going on with that, but I can't mm. watch this with Hina. What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? N no, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. A mark with a big shell. Stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right. Listen, Makoto. Just listen to me. Take a deep breath, calm down, and listen to me. Okay, Hina, just chill out. <gasps> There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, carotene. Okay. Oh, they even have proteins I'm X. What's that? Hey. A high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh, yeah? <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? Hmm. Who's gonna die this time, you think? So, my money would be on either Sakura or maybe Hina being uh, the one to die this time. That's a guess. You know, I have no evidence to base that on. That's just a guess. Of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we can only rely on. What the hell? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Celeste, Hifumi, and, and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are now dead. The classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. Just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling in the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. Does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? That would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here. Who's hmm, Sayaka? No, no, there's no way. No, Monokuma's done this. It must be a fake. <laughs> no, you're fake. Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then you're saying that this picture is... is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question, is this picture real or is it a fake? <laughs> Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. Just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true! That picture is real. 
No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real, but if that's true, if that's the case, there's something deeply bizarre going on here. What the hell's with all the potted plants? There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Flat, yeah, sometimes it makes... Oh great, so I've got to manually search each one for a bloody coin, have I? I'll be honest, I can't be both. Yep, alright. Nothing else here worth looking at. Ooh, the headmaster's office. The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. Must be something worth while in here. But it's locked. The door's locked. Damn it. I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about, but for now I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. After a few minutes. Hmm. So, is this everyone? Well then. Okay. Let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Yeah! There was a big shelf of the chem lab on the fourth floor. Had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay! And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. Yeah, I'll be honest, I do not trust a damn thing in this crazy-ass school. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Hmm. But it's not all good stuff, though. It was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um. was a, a bunch of different poisons. Poison. Mm. They were all labelled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. Um. And we probably shouldn't tell Bayaka or Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well. <laughs> just in case you. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um. J just in case. Yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Bayakua. It won't be long before it's, he's discovered it for himself. Something I think is dangerous is poison right out in the open. That's the worst... That's the work of the mastermind. Damn it. That wasn't what I was trying to click on. I was trying to click on him. Hmm. I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Ah. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. We can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? Should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, no! Please continue. <laughs> Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town, is that what you said? Hell no, I didn't. Hey! And what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Knocking down your headmaster's room door? What kind of war and education are you trying to start here? Your teacher has That's my such room, you know. It is now, anyway. You and you're thinking of busting it down? Betrayal? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives in a single bear claw? Uh. Um, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. Yeah, I'm not mad. What? What? You're totally mad. This is kind of oh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if we're going to go around having these thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously. Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There. That's a rule now, you jerks. <sighs> is he gone? <sighs> Man, I was scared for my life. I I was sure he was going to kill me for serious. Well, But if he would go out of his way to make out a rule like that, there is no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. Now that's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. Right, either way, that's a reasonable point to end this part, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next.